All right, Rusky's Crypto Cave here. Um, down in my basement at my electrical panels. As you can see, my 200 amp service to the whole house is there on the left. And this is the 100 amp sub panel that I had installed. And as you can see, there's a whole mess of wires in there and a little device called Emporia um, with some little rings that go around um, each of the hots um, for the um, monitoring system, which you can see here. It's called the Imperia View Smart Home Energy Monitor. Bought this on Amazon. It does have, the kit that I have came with eight um, different lugs or rings or whatever you want to call them to um, monitor, monitor the energy usage from each of the, the hots coming in. You could monitor, since it is 240 volt, you could put one on each of the hots. Um, it's not required. Uh, so there is one just on each of the hots there. And then the original 30 amp cable I had is down here, but it is used on this breaker here. Uh, so that's where they routed it, because it comes through, goes up and around, and back into the, where the mining room was in the basement, which is now routed out to the shed. But you can see in that little box, because a whole lot of stuff crammed inside there. Then in this box, you can see this is the previous system I used. It was called My Hydro. Um, it just had two lugs on it, so I really just monitored um, the one 30 amp uh, breaker that I had uh, set up in the mining room. Um, but when I expanded to the 100, 100 amp sub panel for the mining room, I had to uh, I wanted to monitor the energy uses for the entire room, uh, just so I could keep everything as accurate as possible because I do run it as a business and claim claim it on my taxes um, as an expense. Uh, so I feel this way is probably the most reliable way to do it. Sure, you could use those drop meters and reset them every single month, but that seems like it's to be a, a royal pain in the butt uh, to worry about going out and resetting those um, and marking down what the usage is where is this device. Um, you can export a monthly report directly from the app on your phone and have it emailed to you, which I'm going to hop in my phone and see if I can figure out the screen recording. And if I get that figured out, we're going to cut that in here right here next. Here we are in my garage and I'll show you the devices I use to monitor the uh, power usage on my uh, rigs that are hooked up to a, the 120 outlet. Uh, this is my 8x1660Ti rig along with the 3080 Founders in the mini doge hooked up to the same breaker and for some reason i have a tv as a monitor which is wasting a lot of power because uh, i keep it's been on for god knows how long but this one is mining caspa i believe yeah that one's still mining caspa but here's the device kind of hard to see but what it is is a wemo smart plug um, and that will also export monthly CSV files to, to my email address or weekly. I think I have it set up as doing weekly. And maybe you just, and just have to change that to monthly in the in the app, uh, just so I, you don't know, get bombarded with emails. So I only do it on a monthly basis. But um, it's hard to see. But I have my search protector plugged in right there, and anything that's plugged into that search protector will uh, be tracked so that way you get an accurate usage of how much power you're using but then this 1660 ti rig this is i think i bought this in 2019 these little cards have been rock solid it's a shame that ebga stopped building gpus but this thing's been been reliable as all get out and the ac asus b250 Mining expert, I guess it is. I probably have half a dozen of these. I've heard some people that had some issues with them, but I've never did. And I love the fact that on, on the boot that it shows um, if you do have a issue with risers, because that I did, because you can't see through here. Some of these risers are different. Like there, that's a different one there. And actually the others look like some of the original ones. And there's some old school Amazon risers that I bought a long time ago, probably back in 19. But 
yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good solid rig, pretty efficient. So I like it. Alrighty, we are in my phone, and here's the Emporia app. I just tap into here. Sorry, my dog's shaking her head. His head actually, and that was Milo. And once you're in the app, it's gonna take it takes a little bit, but it'll pop up and show mining usage. Right now, that panel is drawn 11.87 kilowatts, and it gives you a breakdown of each of the lugs, um, which basically just pretty much just got double. So that's about 4,200, then 4,200, 3,200, and then this is like four is the 20 amp outlet, which is barely drawn any. And the bottom, you could break it down by second, minute, hour, day, week, month, annual. Go back to home, go back to second, and go into the graphs. And it runs a little chart of every second, a little update as far as how much power you're using. Minute usage, hour usage, same thing, day, week, month. Let me see, I, just, I installed this. Mm. By July of 22, this is about right. I think that's when I had that sub panel installed. I had the electrician here and put that in. So it was July of 2022 is when I had that installed. Previous to that, what I used was uh, the My Hydro system. So what I'll do is I'll hop in a computer and uh, I'll show you both systems they're listed on Amazon on what both of them cost. They both work good. Uh, the My Hydro kit was really just for one break, one one lug that I, that I bought. I don't remember if there was multiple options for to monitor uh, multiple breakers. I don't think there was because I probably would have just got the same kit cause since I was familiar with it. That's probably why I switched to Emporia, Emporia just because it had uh, multiple breakers I could monitor on one device. And then to export the data, once you're in here, I'm going to export raw data to CSV. That's the breaker I'm going to do. Yeah. Change the date to March 31st. Hit OK. And then just hit export. I'm not going to hit export now just because that's going to, it does show my email address. It'll, it'll say it will successfully export it to my email. And I don't feel like posting my email on YouTube just because I get enough spam and garbage the way it is. I don't need any more. So we'll hop back in the computer and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, here we are in my in the computer here on Amazon. This is the current system that I am using, which is the Emporia um, kit that has the as you can see it the eight um, sensors on it. Uh, there's a option for 16 and then the option for just the monitor only uh, I went with this one since I really only needed three of them and you see that's how it would be you can kind of click through and see how it works and stuff but I did have the electricians install this one whereas with the my hydro kit um, which is this guy this is the first one I had this one I did install myself because it was just basically putting those sensors around the, the, the two hots. Um, I did have the wired kit. Um, I kind of wish, I don't remember a Wi-Fi kit being available at the time. Maybe there was, but I, I do remember I did have to route Ethernet cable down to it, um, which was kind of a pain. But it is what it is. Uh, no longer using that one, but dog's whining. Sorry about that. Um, but the, I am great on this one and I am happy with this one. Uh, I love the fact in the app that I could export the, uh, report with the electricity usage and get exactly the amount of energy that I use every single month. Um, so it makes it when they do my, my taxes and stuff, it makes it a whole lot easier to do that. So I know exactly how much I get the write off basically. Here are the Wemo smart plugs that I was telling you about earlier when I was in my garage uh, and I didn't realize they were discontinued. Um, I was checking out the newer version and I couldn't find 
uh, if they do have the if they still support the energy export or the, the export of the data usage for that fact um, they look a lot pricier about double what they were when I bought them because I think I was paying about 25 to 30 bucks for them um, years ago when I was when I was using them I only have three of them in use right now the rest of this stuff is in in the shed uh, but I have that rig out in the garage I have a rig in the basement and I have a rig in my office and they're all hooked up to these uh, you just export the data monthly and get the exact power usage for those devices for those rigs each month and then that way also use that as a write-off um, this is the expense the electric because the more can I, ex I can expense and offset the income the better the less taxes you pay not financial advice but kind of is <laughs> but anyway the uh that's about all i got for today uh like i said this is a, a brave browser uh, i should have clicked that guy and add could get some money some bat but anyway this is uh i would say it's highly recommended especially if you're expensing all the electric if you don't have one of these it'd be a very good idea to get exactly how much energy you're using uh to be able to write them off uh, plus the, the device itself will be an expense um, and I don't know how difficult they would be to install um, the my hydro was not that bad so I don't think this one would be either but I just had the electrician do it since the panel is all apart and all that stuff I just had him do it um, if you have a smaller panel like my sub panel as you saw it was a tight fit on a normal size panel you have a lot more space and room uh, so you'd, be, you'd have a lot more room to work with but anyways that's it for now um shed's been doing good temps are good rigs are happy um i do have to figure a filter thing out though because i did notice the screens that are on those gable vents are collecting a bunch of the larger debris um so all the small pollen and all that stuff is getting right in the shed so i do have to figure a filter situation out and get the other row of gable vents installed and ordered for that matter because uh, i didn't order those guys yet um so once i do that We'll do some more work in a shed and get another update out to you guys. Until then, catch us later. Take it easy.